this SF could just get run over. This is an aggressive yeah. draft from NIP and the boys. Yeah, he, he sort of maxed the, yeah, the second and third skill. Well, hunger and the spin and top lane at 33. He's getting run down by the three heroes here. Hey, rough stuff for him. He's taking a lot of damage. He's going to be another able to drop coming, though. He can look to tank. He's got the tango. One second for Fissure. But uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Block offs there. First blood for always want to fly. Grunner's low. Mid lane. There's the solo kill potential you're talking about. Fada jumps in. Quick arrow and burst. Takes down Iceberg. So despite Iceberg giving up that kill earlier, certainly still holding the lead in that middle lane. Top. 33. Block off from Vela. The fish is out. 33 can try for the Who Stomp. But Saxa is there. They'll look for the lockdown on Nongrata. Can he get the double edge out in time? He can. Will lose his life. But sets up Saxa to find the return kill. A core for a core. Up top between NIP and Windstrike. Top. Moonlight Shadow. Actually going to be popped in by Fada, Vela, because the two-man stun, but they surround him. To stunning response from 33. Who's stomping a frostbite? Vela's out. Closes onto Silent up top. 33 actually with the remainder of the time. He's able to walk back in, get the Who's stomp off onto Nongrada as he takes down the Veno as well. Double kill for 33. The Tango will keep him alive, helping him regen against that damage over time. Mid lane, rotation comes through from always want to fly. Again, Iceberg with the raise combo. Very defensive. Yeah, the, looks like they were just scared of being Fisher block potentially. Mid lane, PPD, he was sat there for a long time in the in the tree line, seeing if he could maybe set up for a gank onto Iceberg, but ends up loop, falling very low himself. Top lane, 33. Trying for non grata, but 33 will get the Who Stomp. Surely still dead here. It'll, he'll get denied <laughs> by Saxa. Cheeky towards Silent. It's going to head up towards that 10-minute rune, see if he can take it away. Fada's there as well, tries for the arrow, nearly catches Silent, but Silent will be able to keep his distance. They get the call, they've got the control, actually. PPD sets up as Ace takes the Weaver. Uh, this S, uh, he's massive. We've got to see what he's able to do. In top lane, they try and make a play onto Silent, but he's still able to time lapse out of the Frostbite. He's fine. Now Vela goes for the Fisher block off. Silent's got to be careful, though, because Fada's coming with a retuck rotation, too. Goes for the arrow, but won't get the connection. Vela dodges it, same time down bottom. The dive coming in. PPD and Ace looking towards non -Grata. They've got the call. They have the control. They did take the ult to the faces. They'll lose a lot of health in response. In fact, with the Fire Blast, PPD should be in trouble. The ward's still hitting him down as PPD does fall. As, uh, looking to the side of Windstrike, Earn is being complete by non -Grata. So it looks like indeed as the panel was hoping. It will get the Spirit Vessel for the team eventually. Top lane, zap in as they get able to burst down on Grata. There's going to be a buyback from Vela as NIP are diving pretty deep on the side. PPD with the control on the Yoga. I suppose pops the Requiem is able to get the kill onto Ace, and they do get PPD as well. We'll see what he goes next. Maybe he goes for like Mantra to BKB. We'll see how defensive he feels he has to build. It's top lane. He's getting jumped. Didn't get the Manta dodge off in time for the Who Stomp. It'll get it off now, but it doesn't matter. The call's there from PPD. That's Iceberg gone, and that is sort of the one big hope for Windstrike in this game. Bottom lane, Saxa. Well, we found here. Quick jump in from Vela as they slap down the CM. He's got the blink now. He needs to have a good game. I think there's a lot of pressure on Velor to be one of the guys to step up. He can counter the Morphling uh, with his you know, Blink Echo. If Morphling's sing on too low of a health, he can actually oh. kill him. Down bottom, they do get the ult in onto the two of them. Velor will jump with the Echo Slam, but it's not quite the damage that he'd hoped for. His Ace and 33, they're fine. Velor goes for the TP out. There's no Who Stomp available, but there is a stun ready from Ace. As 33 gets the double kill, the aggressive attempt from Windstrike a bit of damage to the team fight mid lane. They're making the move here as they close the gap onto Silent. Attempt to at least with the Stampede. They won't quite get it. Vela's actually going to jump in with the counterplay. Goes for the Echo Slam. Fisher as well to lock down PPD. The arrow comes out. He tries to Manta dodge it, but Fada still gets the connection onto Iceberg. This is their SF, and they just lose him at the front of the team fight. SF gone for 60 seconds. They'll try and run in non with the ultimate. Saxa TP's out straight away. He'll get out to safety. PPD won't as Axe will fall. And always want to fly. Trying to run away from 33. 33 under the cover of the Moonlight Shadow. Still got a lot of damage over time on him, so can't make a blink play. May just find non Grata. Non Grata is getting blocked off. He's getting bursted down by Ace and 33. Very hard to kill in top lane. PPD. Look at the setup. Do they have the chain control? They don't. Fada can't quite find the angle for the arrow with the creep standing in the way, but he'll jump towards always want to fly instead. He'll make the connections there. Frostbite comes out. They've got the route. He's got no time lapse, so no escape for Silent. Ace actually finds the Shaker as well. Vela. Getting nuked out by the Morphling. Stampy Jews as they look to close the gap onto Silent. And 33 finds the connection. Shikuchi came out. Fada does manage to get the arrow follow-up. Silent falling low. He's not got time. That's for a couple of seconds. So cannot get out of there. More kill. But we'll see. They're smoking up. They do have the ults available. 
Can they make that dream play happen? That's the question. Oh, Jump in. He goes straight in Iceberg, but the BKB's out from Fada. Fada's got a double damage rune as well as Iceberg just has to run immediately out of the fight. Arrow comes out. They do jump in with the Echo Slam, trying to burst down Ace, but Ace is going to be fine. Waveform back to safety. Iceberg jumped upon by 33 as 33 has the control to burst down the SF. Iceberg down for 70 seconds without buyback. Saxa's got the ult, the freezing field, bringing always want to fly down as Velo's brought back. And this time? Max is still Oh, PPD with the blade mail. With He's the got it. Stampede damage too, yeah. Doesn't even need to go for the dunk. It's just enough wow. damage on his own. A support axe. I mean, PPD is really stepping up in the world this game. It's, he's he is contesting the the position on that network board with both cores. We we'll see Windstrike here coming out aggressively over to the. The NIP half of the map. Vela looking for the setup. He'll jump in with the Echo Slam onto PPD. They really want this axe dead, and they will get it with the raise from Iceberg. Space created. And so, yeah, the NIP is like, well, we got three more cores where that came from. Still ready and looking to fight. It's 33. Comes in with the two man who's done the focus fire there from Fudder onto Iceberg. Iceberg tries to get out of it with the Manta, but he will not escape. As he gets taken down, the arrow thrown out as well won't connect. Gives them the vision onto Non Grado. Non Grado trying his best to run away, but the procs are there for the Maelstrom. Fada gets the double kill, gets the triple kill as they find themselves a third and then a fourth. And GG is called. That was Windstrike's last attempt of getting themselves back into this game somehow. But they couldn't as NIP in this match. They, they absolutely killed it. They nailed it. Every lane apart from the mid lane. It was just fantastic coordination from NIP. That last pick, the TA getting through the draw to hit. And this bottom lane should be pretty strong lane right for, for wins track. We'll pull that for the because top lane, that's where the problem's going to be. As it looks like Ace and PPD were able to chase down the Monkey King, get first blood as they bring down Non Grada. Now this is top lane. Going to try again onto PPD. Just to, does get the Jingle Mastery stacks up, but PPD just turns and gives him a clobber. Jesus. Punches him down. That's a lot of damage. With the minus armor from Swarm, he just melted it. It's, yeah, that, that's sort of the, these early levels. But at the same time, invests a lot in these early game items, going for this Orb of Venom and not really having the best or easiest time in his lane. Oh, he really wants it stacked up here from Ace, and he will get it. Ace has the living armor, the Leech Seed as well, keeping Ace alive. Can Ace survive? He cannot. The Splinter Blast from Vela will do it. So this time, as soon as Non Grada gets back in the lane, they are able to punish and get the kill. Same time, down bottom, silent, and always want to fly. Catch out Saxa. So it was the side pull and take down the CM. That was such a... Out nice. onto but a trap down will mean that they will not chase. His father will be fine. Bottom lane, the aggression continuing. Another stun out onto 33. He's got the mana for that Reaper Scythe. Doesn't want to drop it on, always want to fly. Yeah. As it, it looks, he's really holding onto it. He, he wants to. to save it for Silent. He's still got that Reapers. Is he's he, the regen. Is he going to use it at all? He doesn't want to. Yeah, I think he should just use it on dying there to get the regen. I think. NIP feel very strong if they have Weaver and Necro together, they can take these fights. Len Iceberg goes to Laguna, but quick turnaround here. Saxa just walks in, sets up for Fudda to turn things around with a refraction and a melt strike. As Iceberg's gone, Silent uh, as well as he will sure, get the kill, but he gives up another life. Two cores just handing themselves to Ace and Fudda in the middle lane. Yeah, that was a good turnaround just for a CM. It'll be fine for now. Just have to play safe as he is very low. They're looking for the body blocks and the Arctic Burn. Nice setup here from Vela. They don't have a Laguna Blade. Have they got the burst damage? That is actually quite... I don't know if they do. Without the Laguna, I don't think they can get this kill on 33. In fact, 33 is trying to turn. He's going back in. Does get Light Strike. All right, they'll find it. Silent. Able to get out in time. Quick overgrowth as well from PPD, making sure that it's very hard for Windstroke to, to get anything going with the use of that Wukong. So they try and push up top. More backup coming in from NIP. Ace turns up, does have the Maelstrom ready to fight with. Arctic Burn's going to be there with the setup. Iceberg coming in. They do have Laguna Blade. They should be able to burst this one down, and they do. They don't even need the Laguna for that one. With the oh. Oh, they found, oh, they they found, found the high they ground ward. The, they yeah. just dropped the high ground ward, and they spot him out. Nice they down. were ready for these sort of plays. Yeah. I mean, high ground ward's on the that. side here. Oh, being collapsed on here in mid. PPD. There's the opening, Fada's in. Quick Magic Missile to stop the physical damage for now. Vela gets the Winter's Curse down. He's not going to catch anyone else in it. Sax is fine. He's now turning with the Frostbite. PPD getting position for the four-man ult. Fada as well, trying to find the angle. Uh, have the Light Strike Array and the Boundless down onto 33, but he's able to get the Ghost Shroud out. Laguna Blade does finish him. So the Wind Strike, they'll get 33. Let's see if NIP can strike back, though, as Wind Strike are falling pretty low. The slow's coming into play as Wind Strike trying their best to escape, but they cannot run away from this as they'll lose three heroes in return for getting just the Necrophos. As NIP again 
taking these team fights with a storm fighter, getting bigger and bigger, very close to having a BKB. Well, opportunities for NIP across the board with how much farm they have. Well, non grider He's going to try for the steal. He jumps in. He's able to steal the Aegis. He's got it. NIP okay. got the kill, but non grider was able to take the Aegis away from him. Maybe they can get some kills out of it too as they'll get the stun onto Ace. Boundless as well. He's got a time that's available. He will turn and get the bugs out, so Ace should be fine. Full ones as well as he pops the charges back up to full. Looks to silent, silent, kept alive by the Sorrow Whip, but the blast from Saxa finishes it. Ace turns towards always want to fly now, always want to fly, stick charges. A route, Iceberg's coming in as well, looking for the light strike. He finds it, gets the stun. Laguna Blade, Ace has gone, but to the side of him, Iceberg and Non Grata, they've lost the other teammates. They're down to the last two win strikers. NIP, they're still fit to fight. Fada chases in, locked down there from Saxon with a frostbite, holds the Lina in place as a triple kill for Fada comes out. So an Iceberg can find really so Could much up find to him. 33 here. Again with the burst. Is it enough? No. Not quite. 33. Ghost Shroud's out. Sax is there as well with a backup. Frostbite comes through onto Iceberg with a freezing field as well. Iceberg's got to back off. Always want to fly. Gets Dagon down by 33. And Ace now ready to chase. Father's there on the high ground in position to burst down Iceberg with a quick melt hit. P, they're ready to jump again. They know there's no curse. They know there's no Wukong's. Father's in with a slow boundless strike. Comes out as well as the magic missile onto Father. Into his curse as well. Trying to hold back 33. But neither of these heroes in trouble as NIP can just continue to move on, take the free kills as Vela falls. I always want to fly, putting down that tombstone. They're looking to burst 33 and they do manage to get it with the Laguna Blade. Yeah, get turning. the Necrophos in response. Fada, I mean, in. Fada's just diving in, jumping forward. Does skip magic missile? No, the Lincolns. It procs, it saves him. BKB's out. Always want to fly, taken down. Sacks a pop of the freezing field. Three dead on. Like even there, split pushing the tier three tower. He has traps behind the tower to scout out the TPs, and then he backs off at the right time. Just great moves. Oh, here we go. Overgrow comes out from PPD onto the four of them. Iceberg has to pop the BKB and run away. They do get the Wukong's command down. Ace falling low. Time that's to the side saves and does get swapped back into the ult. Still trying to keep his distance. Iceberg finds the Light Striker Ace done. Reaper Cypher's managed to finish off the kill onto a second support. Both the, the Undying and, of course, Non Grado's Venge going down. But they got the kill on Ace as well as Saxa. So Windstrike. Able to take trade. There's any way Moon Strike can win a fight around the pit or even secure Roach. I mean, they go for it. <laughs> they're using it. They're they're like, oh, thanks, Weaver. We'll take that bug, they say. I mean, uh, sure, NIP don't have overgrowth, but they've still got a very strong team to fight with. As NIP will definitely want to have a look in onto this pit. There's the swap and the Winter's Curse. Wukong's command down as well as Wind Strike are trying to secure this Roach for themselves. Lincolns will block the Magic Missile from Silent, but the Boundless Strike comes out from Non Grotto. It doesn't matter though, as they've lost Always Wanna Fly. They've lost Non Grotto as well. They do get Saxer in return. Iceberg with the BKB punching into 33. Will find the Necrophos. Double buybacks coming out from both sides as they look to hold across the pit. Fada jumps in with the BKB. The Mail hit's gonna miss. The uphill chance keeps Iceberg safe. Silent, he's still alive for now. Fada will finally finish him. Non Grotto looking to get the Jingo Mastery Sax up on Ace. He gets it, but he gets bursted down. Fada with the physical damage. It's too much. Takes the kill. Another buyback coming into play as Silent. Looks to get himself back over towards this pit. Fella, he's actually TPing out of this. He's backing away. Fada's got up to the high ground. Light Strike Array won't quite catch on to him. As Fada, with the movement speed, gets himself out of the range of the stun. PPD, three man overgrowth. The self heals from Iceberg as he looks to escape. But NIP, the overrunning wind strike. Punch with the root comes out from PPD. Reaper's side comes out onto the Ventral Spirit. As NIP will come out vastly on top. Multiple buybacks being used from both sides, but it doesn't pay off for wind strikers. They're now four dead, three without buyback. Iceberg can get himself back into the game, but you see NIP, they know that they're a great position now as they ignore the Roche. They're going straight for the game. Fada jumping in, even looking for more kills. He's level 25. He's had a fantastic showing this game on his T8, and they're looking to end it. 33 does get bursted yeah. though. Winter's oh. curse as well. Maybe NIP could throw this game. It's looking like potential as Fada. He really doesn't want this one throw. He's in with the BKB. He's ready to put an end to this nonsense. But at the same time, Iceberg is hitting hard. Uh, one more. Has Fada got a blink or anything? Always want to fly back up in 10 seconds. He's got the buyback on Vela. Can Windstrike hold this somehow? There's a 22k lead at the moment on NIP. They're trying to shut this game down, but Iceberg leads in. Light Strike, he gets the catch onto Ace. Glimmer Cape comes out, but the sentry's down. They're taking the Aegis out of the hands of the Weaver. Cold Embrace from Vela keeps Iceberg safe. A Soul Rip and a Glimmer Cape onto Vela will mean that he'll also survive himself. As Wind Strike will make sure that this game has not quite come to an end. Non They're smoking bottom. They're like, 
We got to get this rapier, yeah. boys. This is our chance to get back into the game, get back into the series. Iceberg. Oh, Sax just pops it though with oh. an invis rune. Ace. Ooh. Ace. He knows he's around uh, it. He's gonna no, show he's himself. Doing a lot of damage though. Oh, Sax. Oh, CM. What a oh, hero. The Winter's Curse will catch the freezing field. That's. Bella's looking to get fine. out. Can he get out in time? He can. He's able to TP away, always want to fly, is he going to escape? He's not. Ace has got the down to take him, and indeed, Ace. Fada found Iceberg with the, with the rapier, but... Without the Alina. I don't know if they can stop this. Fada jumps in, Ghost Scepter comes out. They do get the swap, do they have the control? Stuns out with the BKB and Refraction, allow Fada to walk it off as Ace. He's just looking to end the game, hitting into the Ancient with the rapier. Does get a little spooked by the Wukongs as he backs away. I mean, can Winstruck really buy a, a minute? To get Iceberg uh, back into this, I'll try. NIP, they're going in, jump forward, Reaper side down, that'll take the Monkey King out of the game, no buyback on him, GG is called, NIP, close up the second game and will take the series 2-0, knocking Windstrike out.